Hi everybody. Happy Thursday. I have been so busy, as you know, but I am taking the time out to say hi because I want to show you some fun stuff and I needed a break too. <laughs> but um, I, I had a very fun week and uh, I want to share a couple things with you. I did go to see Charlie today. I did see Craig uh, on Tuesday and very, very fun. Uh, my friend Carol came in on Tuesday to Record King and she is a picker just like me. Like she'll go to house sales, garage sales, thrift shops. She's always looking for stuff to sell. But um, she brought in this clown, this fabulous uh, plaster clown. He's dated 1966. And I said, oh my God, Carol, I, I want the clown. I want that clown. And um, she had expressed interest in my funeral flowers. So I gave her one of the funeral flowers for the clown. And I am just thrilled with him. He is just awesome. He's beautiful. Very much uh, the kind of uh, plaster thing you would uh, win at a carnival. Remember how they used to have the plaster statues you used to win? Um, very, very fabulous. I love him. Uh, Carol also brought me uh, a big bag of 1948-49 uh, ephemera, which is really fun. Because uh, I use those old magazines and paper ephemera for my bracelets and my collage and stuff like that. So, I have been working my my little butt off and um, it's just been a very, a very fun week. I'm starting out at 5 in the morning so uh, by the time most people are getting up I've already put in like th two three hours of work. It's really 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 fun. Uh, that's the way I am. I, you know I have boundless energy and I, I just can't stop once I start, you know, so, and I only have a month to get ready for the show, and I want to get a lot of these bracelets done because, you know, I have a lot of the big stuff, the big expensive stuff um, to bring to the show, but, you know, you want to have a bunch of affordable things for the average person, and that is why I think the bracelets will do really well there, so I'm trying to do as many you know, I'm trying to get as many uh, together as I can, um, and then I'll have my creatures too. Because you know, when people look at the creatures face to face, they're they're very hard to resist. Um, this morning I had to stop in Home Depot because Skitty wanted me to look at the pegboard uh, and and tell him exactly which ones. Uh, what size I want, um, or whatever. You know, he wanted me to get the, get the idea of how big they are uh, before he went and bought them. You know, um, so that I could tell him exactly how much room I will need, and then he will start to make it. So I went to Home Depot this morning, my least favorite place in the whole world to go. The place makes me insane. It's so huge, and it's so overwhelming you know <laughs> but I did I did it and I, I, I told him you know I said oh my god those pieces are so big and so heavy so I think uh, he has an idea and I think that we're gonna go with his idea because uh, I'm very excited uh, about what he wants to do uh, I'll let you know as we get closer so I'm gonna show you the uh, the finished bracelets uh, so far I have this one which is robot love fabulous vintage robots this one is very fun. It's a tiki, tiki bracelet. This one has tiki, tiki gods, and the big tiki god has red um, gemstone eyes. The pineapple drink right there, which I wish I was sipping right now. And then we have this one here, which is called Atomic Woman. Very, very fabulous. Those, uh, the uh, varnish on those have dried. Finally, because I had so much rain yesterday that uh, I was having so much trouble getting the layers to dry in between because I have I put several layers and when it's uh, raining and damp the, the the each layer takes so long to dry that it slows me down amazingly anyway I'm gonna show you the bracelet I made for myself because I know you guys are gonna love this one 
this one is all um, 78 labels. Check it out, guys. This is this is the Tink bracelet, and I, I you know of course I have we have Sun, we have Vocalion, we have Bluebird, um, Grey Gull, we have another Vocalion because uh, th oh, this Vocalion is Robert Johnson. Because who wouldn't want a Robert Johnson label on their uh, on their bracelet, right? Then we got OK. It's really, really fun. And I hope to do some more of the... I, I mean, I, you know, not many because I don't know how many women record collectors there are. I've met very, very few in my life. So, but for me, that is my bracelet. I'll, I'll wear this every single day at every record show, everywhere I go. All right, I got a ton of stuff to show you and I bet you I talk too much already. Okay. Let me start with Charlie. I went by Charlie today, and somebody brought in a huge um, collection of 78s. And I'm going to tell you, uh, Mark, you, Swingman, you would have freaked out. This was your kind of stuff. There were three three-foot piles that I went through and I said oh my god this is all Mark's stuff he would have uh, you would have flipped over this stuff um, I found I found some stuff I found some things that I like I mean you know I, I generally like early century novelty and children's but there's a lot of um, uh, big band that I love uh, and I did get some really special stuff I got Guys, uh, uh, how much time did I waste already? Okay, we're going to have to do two parts, <laughs> okay? Um, I got this uh, Temptation by Gordon Jenkins. Temptation is one of my favorite songs. I got uh, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, the Lynn Murray Singers, back with Oh Little Town of Bethlehem. Any Christmas record, any Christmas record. We're playing Viva by per uh, Percy Faith uh, because obviously it is Cinco de Mayo and I forgot to wish you a happy Cinco de Mayo. I didn't have time to decorate for Cinco de Mayo, but normally I would, as you know. <laughs> um, that's Amore, Dean Martin, a really nice copy. I have a copy, but this one's better. Uh, we got Babalu by Enrique Madriguera. I have Babalu by Desi Arnaz. I have it by um, Jan August. But I, I love the song. It's very it's very exotic and very fun. Oh, I got Bewitched by Gordon Jenkins. I love the song, as you know. I got Count Basie. Do you want to jump children? Backed with uh, Panasi Stomp. See Count Basie. There was everything in that those piles. I said if Swingman was here with me, his pile would be this big. My pile was this big. His would be this big. Uh, oh, and two avalanches in the store while I was in there. Charlie, Charlie, you know, I said, Charlie, can I please help you? You know, let me help you pick them up. And he was like, no, this is my punishment for having such a mess. <laughs> oh, my God, it was so fun. I love Charlie. I just love him. Uh, oh, I got a Nicola Payone, and he's one of my favorites. This one is Betty. She eats a lots of spaghetti. And Gratami, Gratami, il formaggio. Ah, oh, one of my favorite. He's a funny um, Italian novelty singer. Very fun. Uh, winter Weather, Tommy Dorsey, one of my favorite records. Love the winter weather. As long as we can be together. No, I don't really love the winter weather. But uh, we got You're Gonna Be Sorry by Fat. Waller back to swinging them jingle bells another one that I thought was probably a Christmas record beautiful Victor howdy duty and Santa Claus uh, Les Paul lover and Brazil I have this but this one is in better shape and I love Brazil beautiful song uh, Paradiddle Gel by Tony Pastor, back with Macon Whoopi, another song that I love. I have a very early century version of that. How much time do I have? Not much. All right, you know what, guys? Let me stop here, and I'll be back with you in a couple minutes. I love you all.